So this is what I'd say, and, and these six things I've listed, um, are, I'll read the, the things that I think every year the judges have a kind of post-mortem um, about, and these are the things that come up every single year in terms of uh, the, the quality of the submissions. Um, and and it, uh, again, I say most of these you'll think, well, that's completely obvious, but it is amazing how few people actually do it really well. Um, so align it very carefully with the category and criteria. Um, the small cell forums criteria are, are quite well thought out and quite detailed, um, again, by comparison with some processes I've been involved with. Um, and so what's rather frustrating is when you see an entry that's good in its own right and interesting, it doesn't really relate to the category. Um, and we do have the right as judges, if we think someone's gone in for completely the wrong category, to move it. And we do sometimes do that. We move it to what we think is a more appropriate category where it will shine better. Um, but we get quite a lot of uh, companies that will perhaps, typically they might submit um, the same thing to multiple categories, which again is quite um, allowed under the rules, but tends to mean that if, if they don't tweak it at all, it doesn't really fit any of them very well. Um, so I, I think really spending the time to uh, to make sure that it absolutely ticks the the criteria is uh, is really important, and I know that that can be hard to do because it takes a lot of time and people are really busy. But it's um, it's definitely worth the effort. Uh, as I said in my preamble, so much of it is this is about having solid evidence points. Uh, you know, are there any customers? Can you name them? Um, if there have been trials and deployments, are there any results? Of course, some things can't be shared. We, we understand that, but, um, uh, but, but anything that, that can, any performance benchmarks. Um, whereas uh, too much wordage that is just unsubstantiated claims um, and the sort of thing that you might write perhaps to a high level or a less educated audience. But and and any words such as world beating, industry leading, any of that sort of thing, just you know, it's a red rag to analysts. So uh, unless you really can back it up, uh, I would say um dial down on the uh you know the excited language uh, and, and give us loads of evidence. Um uh, concise uh, yes um it does need to again don't it sounds obvious, but we get so many where there's pages and pages of, um, you know, uh, appendix material and it doesn't, again, doesn't particularly relate to what the category is. It's just like everything that you ever wanted to know, um, which should, is, can be very interesting, but um, uh, it, it's hard to then uh, sort of relate what's being submitted to the category. Um, and, you know, take pity on us, we can have a uh, hundred or something of these to, to read through. Um, and it's, it, it's just a fact that we won't have a sharp discussion um, if we had to wade through too much detail, which isn't really necessary. So a bit of, bit of red pen is always good. Um, uh, more broadly, I would say, remember what the forum values and what the awards are seeking to value. Um, so there are certain things, I mean, um, Claire just mentioned that we've got a lot more focus on uh, neutral host in the awards, some specific awards for, for that this time. And that obviously reflects um, an evolution of the forum and its mission. So I think um, where we see um, submissions for the awards that, that really relate to something that's a goal of our community, you know, does it lower a barrier to deployment? Does it reduce total cost of ownership? Even if that isn't the specific criterion, but it gives us a sense that this is contributing something to the progress of uh, the small cell architectures. That can be a real plus point and it shows an awareness of where the submission fits in a broader industry, in the broader context of our industry. Um, so that's, I think that's very interesting. Sometimes we can get an awful lot of technical detail, which can be intellectually extremely interesting, but with no real context for why it's important. Um, going back to my point about, you know, when people say, oh, this is a world first. Well, even if it is, does that matter? I mean, if it's a commercial product, arguably you don't need to be first, you need to be best. Um, you need to solve problems. So I think it's important to think of the context and demonstrate the value um, at all points. Um, as I say, I'm going back to this bit, data for commercial, the comm awards that are for commercial products and services, um, any kind of economic data helps us to, uh, to, to see, um, to compare and contrast on a level playing field, because obviously we don't generally have the opportunity to go and test out um, these things. So uh, we, the, the more uh, information 
um, the better. And if it's something for one of the innovation categories, which can be pre-commercial, um, but again, on the benchmarks, we don't allow pure blue sky. So, uh, you know, so we hope that there would be at least some kind of um, benchmark material that could be uh, provided, or at least some very specific descriptions of uh, of what the uh, the product or the service is um, is aiming to do and uh, what its own criteria are, rather than just a rather vague description. And um, and also, yes, don't oversell not everything needs to be the biggest the best unique um you, some of the awards that we've given over the years and the ones that have interested us the most have been things that are apparently quite modest it might be a certain use of a small cell for a particular application um or a, a, a relatively small component but um if they're they but if their value is really well explained, um, we can say yes, that's that is actually something that's that's unique um, and adds value to the broader ecosystem. So it, it doesn't sound um, like it's the most significant breakthrough ever, um, but it can make a huge difference. And over the years, we've actually shortlisted and awarded quite a lot to uh, those sort of entries, uh, which don't wouldn't hit the headlines or never get on the front page of a newspaper, but they really contribute something unique to uh, to pushing forward the platform. So I would say, you know, when you're deciding what to uh, to focus on, which categories to go after, if you've got something that's a little bit uh, overshadowed and unexciting in your portfolio, but that you can um, uh, explain and, and quantify a real impact that it makes, um, I would always say, yeah, go for it. Um, these don't all have to be the headline grabbers that that win the awards. So that's my main point. So as I said, that's not just my point of view. This is based on years of these conversations with uh, with the panel of judges, some of whom, like me, have, have been very consistent for many, many years, and uh, some are, are newer and bring some new ideas. But it, it is remarkable how each year we seem to have the same conversations of judges about, oh, if only they'd um, made that submission a bit different, if only they'd given us that extra piece of information, it would have gotten them over the line. So I hope that this has given a few little pointers that might um, might help all of you uh, you guys when you're hopefully submitting to the awards.